Hey everyone, welcome to a new episode of Licks with Chris. It's been a while since I've posted one of these Licks with Chris episodes and uh, I'm really looking forward to it. Actually, I posted a story on my Instagram account asking uh, friends and followers, uh, would you be interested in one of these videos? And surprisingly many people voted, yes, I'd, I'd give that lick a go. So uh, I wanted to choose a lick uh, that is not overly complicated, but its trickiness is in the details, like all those nuances that I really appreciate about playing guitar and, and really enjoy uh, fiddling with those little things. So it's gonna be a blues rocky kind of lick and uh, this is how it goes. It's not super shreddy, it's not super complex, but it only works if you get those little bends and pull-offs and whatever right. As usual, uh, you will not get taps because I want you to train your ears and uh, I will show everything anyhow, so um, we don't need that, right? Let's start with the first few chords, which are not really a part of that lick, but it just helps to put your ears in the right key which is the key of A. So I start with an A power chord, then I grab the low G note, which is the third fret on the E, and then go back on the uh, A power chord. And on the G, I do a little wiggle just to make it, I don't know, a bit cooler, I guess. So that's simple. Now, we slide up on the B string to the 10th fret. And I'll do that uh, with my ring finger because I'll need the index in a second. Uh, that's a slide from wherever, like from the fifth fret up to the 10th on the B string. Then go on the E string eighth fret uh, with your index and uh, go back to the ring finger on the B 10. So. Then comes the first little tricky part, which is just a little confusing, it's not really hard to do. Uh, you do a bend on the 10th fret of the E string, the um, high E string, uh, and it's a semi note, so you will bend it up to where it sounds like the 11th fret. And then after that bend, you do a fast release, bend, release. Okay, so that's, that's how it sounds. Okay, bam, ba da da. And then a pull off to eight. Once more. Okay, let's uh, play the leg until here. Once more. And to finish up this first um, section of the lick, uh, you'll play this, which is again the 10th fret of the B string, then the 9th of the G, go back on the B but on the 8th, and then at the, uh, go back to the 10th fret. So B10, G9, B8, and B10. Okay, uh, let's do this first section again, like complete this time. You can do little bends, you can you know, do little subtle things wherever you feel like it sounds cool and you don't have to stick to the exact same phrasing either. And then comes the ending where I do this uh, Pete Thorny kind of thing. That's uh, something I learned from, from Pete Thorne and I'm pretty sure he learned it from someone because that's just how things work. <laughs> Uh, this first bend and release on the E and the B string, that is the tricky part. So, uh, you go on the E string 15th fret and uh, bend up a full note. And then instead of coming back, like doing a release on that E string, you do the release on the B string. So you kind of have to roll your ring finger or middle finger, whichever you use for that bend, uh, a little 
to come a bit higher to reach that B string, right? So you start on, on the E and then roll that finger up to reach that next string, which is the B. So uh, 15th full note on the E and then a full note release on the B. Okay? It sounds really cool. It's almost like a whale. <laughs> So so cool. And uh, then go down to the 13th fret of the B string. And then there's again the B string 15 to 13, but this time it's a pull off. And then there's a late bend at the end, uh, which is sort of like a semi note, like a half note, but it's not, it's more like the bluesy kind of bend where you bend from the um, minor third to the major third of a certain scale. In this, um, in this case, um, um, it's an A, like the third note of an A scale, go from the minor third to the major third. Okay, so it's a, it's a bluesy late bend, I guess. Okay, so this uh, second section until here, And all that's missing is the last note, which is on the G string, the 14th fret, which is an A, and you can do a nice and long vibrato on it. So, the full second section of the lick. Thanks to all those bends and releases and the uh, late bend on the, uh, on the minor third, um, that's... <laughs> All these bends make this section super slidey. It sounds almost like a like a lap steel or pedal steel or whatever. It it does not have a single straight note in there. It's all bends and vibratos and whatever late bends. That's what I really enjoy about a, a lick like this. It it just sounds like it's more than what it actually is. The only tricky part to play. Uh, to actually grab is that first um, bend on the E 15th and then the release on the uh, on the B 15th. That's tricky. And you need to dampen the uh, strings that you don't want to ring out with your right hand. So uh, let me try to put that on the camera. Wait, wait. <laughs> I'm on it. So I am dampening all of the other strings, um, except for the B at the end of this uh, thingy. All right, the full leg once more slow and then up to my tempo, which doesn't have to be your tempo. It's just something that, I don't know, felt right when I was uh, fooling around with this leg today. All right, have fun practicing the lick and uh, let me know what you think about it, uh, how it went, how how far your progress is in the comments below. And you can definitely tag me on Instagram and post your version of the lick. I'd absolutely love watching your versions of it and um, yeah, and repost it or share it or put it in a story, whatever you do on Instagram. Uh, that would be absolutely awesome and humbling to see you guys being inspired by this little fiddly literary. <laughs> you guys take it easy. Meet you down there in the comments. See you next week in a new video. I'll be back. Bye-bye.